Crotalus horridus, commonly known as timber rattlesnake, canebrake rattlesnake or banded rattlesnake, is a species of venomous pit viper found in the eastern United States. This is the only rattlesnake species in most of the populous northeastern United States. No subspecies is currently recognized. Description Adults usually grow to total length of 91 a euro 152 cm. The maximum reported total length is 189.2 cm. Holt mentions a large specimen caught in Montgomery County, Alabama, which had a total length of 159 cm and weighed 2.5 a kg. Large specimens can reportedly weigh as much as 4.5 a kg. Most timber rattlesnakes found measure less than 100 cm in total length and weigh 580 euro 900 ag. The dorsal scales are keeled and arranged in 21 euro 26 scale rows at midbody. The ventral scales number 158 to 177 in males and 163 euro 183 in females. Males have 20 euro 30 subcordial scales while females have 15 a euro 26. The rostral scale is normally a little higher than it is wide. In the internasal frontal area there are four a euro 22 scales that include two large, triangular internasal scales that border the rostral, followed by two large, quadrangular frontal scales that may contact each other along the midline, or may be separated by many small scales. Between the supraocular and internasal, only a single canthal scale is present. There are five a euro seven intersupraocular scales. The number of prefovial scales varies between two and eight. Usually the first supralabial scale is in broad contact with the prenasal scale, although slightly to moderately separated along its posteroventral margin by the most anterior prefovials. Dorsally, they have a pattern of dark brown or black crossbands on a yellowish brown or grayish background. The crossbands have irregular zigzag edges, and may be V-shaped or M-shaped. Often a rust-colored vertebral stripe is present. Ventrally they are yellowish, uniform or marked with black. Melanism is common, and some individuals are very dark, almost solid black. Geographic range, found in the eastern United States from southern Minnesota and southern New Hampshire, south to east Texas and north Florida. Its historic range includes southern Ontario and southern Quebec in Canada, but in May 2001, the Canadian Species at Risk Act listed it as extirpated in Canada. A Canadian government-sponsored recovery strategy is currently under study to support the reintroducing of this predator of many pests to its former Canadian habitat. Although several experts disagree, many were found in some of the thick forest areas of central and southeastern Iowa, mostly within the Mississippi. Skunk, Iowa, and Des Moines River valleys, in several places in these areas. Bites from timber rattlesnakes have been widespread, especially in a localized area of Geode State Park, in southeastern Henry County, along Credit Island Park, in southern Scott County, and in the forested areas of southern Clinton County. In Pennsylvania, it is not found west of Chestnut Ridge, which is in the Laurel Highlands nor is it found in the southeastern corner of the state. Thus, its range does not include the areas of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, the two largest cities in Pennsylvania. C. Horridus is extinct in Maine and Rhode Island and is almost extinct in New Hampshire. Habitat Generally, this species is found in deciduous forests in rugged terrain. During the summer, gravid females seem to prefer open, rocky ledges where the temperatures are higher, while males and non-gravid females tend to spend more time in cooler, denser woodland with more closed forest canopy. Female timber rattlers often bask in the sun before giving birth, in open rocky areas known as basking knolls. During the winter, timber rattlesnakes hibernate in dens, in limestone crevices, often together with copperheads and black rat snakes. Feeding, their prey are mainly small mammals, but may include small birds, frogs, or other snakes. Although capable of consuming other rattlesnakes, the most common snakes they eat are garter snakes. Venom, potentially, this is one of North America's most dangerous snakes, due to its long fangs, impressive size, and high venom yield. This is to some degree offset by its relatively mild disposition and long hibernation period. 
Before striking, they often perform a good deal of preliminary rattling and fainting. Sis described how he lived in western Pennsylvania for many years, and the species was quite common there, but in all that time, he heard of only a single death resulting from its bite. Considerable geographic and ontogenetic variation occurs regarding the toxicity of the venom, which can be said for many rattlesnake species. Four venom patterns have been described for this species. Type A is largely neurotoxic, and is found in various parts of the southern range. One effect of the toxin can be generalized myokimia. Type B is hemorrhagic and proteolytic, and is found consistently in the north and in parts of the southeast. Type A plus B is found in areas where the aforementioned types apparently integrate in southwestern Arkansas and northern Louisiana. Type C venom has none of the above components and is relatively weak. The neurotoxic component of the type A venom is referred to as canebrake toxin, and is a phospholipase A2. It is analogous to the neurotoxins found in the venoms of several other rattlesnake species, and when present, contributes significantly to the overall toxicity. Other components found in the venom include a small basic peptide that works as a mutoxin, a fibrinogen clotting enzyme that can produce defibrination syndrome, and a bradykinin releasing enzyme. CROFAB antivenom, while not specific for C. horridus, is used to treat envenomations from this species. Gallery Symbol The timber rattlesnake was designated the state reptile of West Virginia in 2008. That state's legislature praised a proud contribution by the eighth grade class at Romney Middle School, from West Virginia's oldest county, in West Virginia's oldest town, to have been instrumental in making the timber rattlesnake the state reptile. This snake became a prominent symbol during the American Revolution in part because it had a fearsome reputation. The use of the timber rattlesnake as a symbol of American anger and resolve to defend itself was no idle threat. During the period of 1763 Euro 1787, medical knowledge was not up to the challenge of treating a timber rattlesnake's bite. First, at the time, European standards of medical practice were based on the ideas and concepts of Galen, in which disease was caused by imbalances in the body. This was the standard to which all doctors practicing medicine in the colonies were trained. Because of the then poorly understood effects on the nervous or hematological system of this species venom, a physician would prescribe a course of action that wound up killing the patient faster or prescribing herbs without testing of their efficacy as a cure beyond imitation of Native American practices. Secondly, Linnaeus only described and identified this snake in 1758. First hand experience with timber rattlesnakes among London scientists would have been poor. The flora and fauna of the colonies would have been disdained as savage by thinking circles, and published information on its habits would have been thin, allowing for hearsay and superstition to grow on both sides of the Atlantic. The motto Nemo me impune lace it appears above a Crotalus horridus on a 1778 $20 bill from Georgia as an early example of the colonial use of the coiled rattlesnake symbol, which later became famous on the Gadsden flag. Taxonomy the subspecies Cha trichordatus, often referred to as the cane brake rattlesnake, is currently considered invalid. Previously, it was recognized by Gloydon Clauber. Based on an analysis of geographic variation, Pisanier al concluded no subspecies should be recognized. This was rejected by Conant, but followed by Collins and Knight. Brown and Ernst found evidence for retaining the two subspecies but state it is not possible to tell them apart without having more information than usual, including adult size, color pattern, the number of dorsal scale rows and the number of ventral scales. Dundee and Rossman recognized CHA tree chordatus, but others take a more neutral point of view. Conservation status, this species is classified as least concern on the IUCN red list. Species are listed as such due to their wide distribution, presumed large population, or because they are unlikely to be declining fast enough to qualify for listing in a more threatened category. The timber rattlesnake is listed as endangered in New Jersey, Vermont, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Indiana, and Ohio, and it is threatened in New York, Connecticut, Illinois, Minnesota, and Texas. See also, List of crotalin species and subspecies.
Crotalus by common name, Crotalus by taxonomic synonyms, Crotalinae by common name, Crotalinae by taxonomic synonyms, Snakebite, references. Further reading External links, Crotalus horridus at the Reptarium CZ Reptile Database. Access December 12, 2007. Timber Rattlesnake at Center for Reptile and Amphibian Conservation and Management. Accessed February 8, 2007. Timber Rattlesnake Crotalus horridus at Center for Reptile and Amphibian Conservation and Management. Accessed February 8, 2007. Timber Rattlesnake Euro Crotalus horridus at EarthNet.net, Reptiles and Amphibians of Iowa. Access June 15, 2007. Account of severe sea horridus in venomation at venomousreptiles.org. Access December 12, 2007. Canebrake rattlesnake at Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. Accessed August 7, 2007. Snakes of Louisiana at kingsnake.com. Accessed August 7, 2007. Timber rattlesnakes facts and pictures. Timber Rattlesnake Fact Sheet at New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. Access December 14, 2008. Timber Rattlesnake, Natural Resources Canada.